Have you ever explored a forest? Yes. I love hiking, and I've explored a few forests. It's always a magical experience. Have you ever explored a forest? Yes. I love hiking, and I've explored a few forests. It's always a magical experience. What comes to your mind when you think about being in the forest? The peaceful sounds of rustling leaves, chirping birds, and the scent of pine trees. It's a serene escape. What comes to your mind when you think about being in the forest? The peaceful sounds of rustling leaves, chirping birds, and the scent of pine trees. It's a serene escape. Do you have a favorite type of forest? I'm drawn to dense, evergreen forests. The tall trees create a captivating atmosphere. Do you have a favorite type of forest? I'm drawn to dense, evergreen forests. The tall trees create a captivating atmosphere. Have you ever camped in a forest? Camping in the forest is on my bucket list. I imagine it would be an incredible experience surrounded by nature. Have you ever camped in a forest? Camping in the forest is on my bucket list. I imagine it would be an incredible experience surrounded by nature. What activities do you enjoy doing in the forest? Hiking and bird watching are my favorites. There's so much to discover and appreciate in the tranquility of the forest. What activities do you enjoy doing in the forest? Hiking and bird watching are my favorites. There's so much to discover and appreciate in the tranquility of the forest. Is there a specific forest that holds a special memory for you? I have fond memories of a forest I explored with friends. It was where we discovered a hidden waterfall. Is there a specific forest that holds a special memory for you? I have fond memories of a forest I explored with friends. It was where we discovered a hidden waterfall. What wildlife have you encountered in the forest? I've come across deer, rabbits, and even a few elusive foxes during my forest hikes. It's always exciting. What wildlife have you encountered in the forest? I've come across deer, rabbits, and even a few elusive foxes during my forest hikes. It's always exciting. Are there any unique plants or flowers you've seen in the forest? The vibrant wildflowers in the forest add a burst of color to the green surroundings. It's a breathtaking sight. Are there any unique plants or flowers you've seen in the forest? The vibrant wildflowers in the forest add a burst of color to the green surroundings. It's a breathtaking sight. Do you prefer day or night walks in the forest? Day walks offer a different charm with sunlight filtering through the trees, but night walks have their own mysterious allure. Do you prefer day or night walks in the forest? Day walks offer a different charm with sunlight filtering through the trees, but night walks have their own mysterious allure. Have you ever participated in a forest conservation project? I haven't yet, 
but I'm interested in contributing to forest conservation efforts in the future. Have you ever participated in a forest conservation project? I haven't yet, but I'm interested in contributing to forest conservation efforts in the future. How does being in the forest make you feel? Being in the forest brings me a sense of peace and connection to nature. It's like a therapeutic escape. How does being in the forest make you feel? Being in the forest brings me a sense of peace and connection to nature. It's like a therapeutic escape. Is there a specific forest activity you would like to try in the future? I've always wanted to try treehouse camping in the heart of a dense forest. It sounds like a unique adventure. Is there a specific forest activity you would like to try in the future? I've always wanted to try treehouse camping in the heart of a dense forest. It sounds like a unique adventure. Are there any myths or folklore about forests that you find intriguing? The idea of magical creatures in the forest, like fairies or woodland spirits, adds a touch of enchantment to the experience. Are there any myths or folklore about forests that you find intriguing? The idea of magical creatures in the forest, like fairies or woodland spirits, adds a touch of enchantment to the experience. What essentials do you bring when exploring a forest? Water, a map, and a camera are must-haves. You never know what beautiful scenes you might come across. What essentials do you bring when exploring a forest? Water, a map, and a camera are must-haves. You never know what beautiful scenes you might come across. Have you ever gone on a solo forest adventure? Not yet, but the idea of a solo forest adventure to reflect and connect with nature sounds appealing. Have you ever gone on a solo forest adventure? Not yet, but the idea of a solo forest adventure to reflect and connect with nature sounds appealing. Are there any specific sounds in the forest that you find soothing? The gentle rustling of leaves and the distant calls of birds create a calming symphony in the forest. Are there any specific sounds in the forest that you find soothing? The gentle rustling of leaves and the distant calls of birds create a calming symphony in the forest. Have you ever experienced a rain shower in the forest? Yes, the sound of raindrops hitting leaves and the earthy scent during a forest rain is incredibly refreshing. Have you ever experienced a rain shower in the forest? Yes, the sound of raindrops hitting leaves and the earthy scent during a forest rain is incredibly refreshing. Do you have a favorite season for exploring the forest? Autumn is my favorite season for forest walks. The colorful foliage adds a picturesque charm. Do you have a favorite season for exploring the forest? Autumn is my favorite season for forest walks. The colorful foliage adds a picturesque charm. Have you ever encountered any challenges while in the forest? Navigating through dense vegetation can be challenging, 
but it adds to the adventure of exploring the unknown. Have you ever encountered any challenges while in the forest? Navigating through dense vegetation can be challenging, but it adds to the adventure of exploring the unknown. What's the most unexpected thing you've found in a forest? Discovering a hidden, centuries-old tree with carvings and markings was a fascinating surprise. What's the most unexpected thing you've found in a forest? Discovering a hidden, centuries-old tree with carvings and markings was a fascinating surprise. Do you have a preferred type of footwear for forest walks? Sturdy hiking boots are a must. They provide support and protection, especially on uneven terrain. Do you have a preferred type of footwear for forest walks? Sturdy hiking boots are a must. They provide support and protection, especially on uneven terrain. Have you ever seen a waterfall within a forest? Yes. Stumbling upon a secluded waterfall during a forest hike was a breathtaking moment. Have you ever seen a waterfall within a forest? Yes. Stumbling upon a secluded waterfall during a forest hike was a breathtaking moment. How do you navigate through a dense forest without a trail? A compass and a sense of direction are essential. It's about embracing the adventure and trusting your instincts. How do you navigate through a dense forest without a trail? A compass and a sense of direction are essential. It's about embracing the adventure and trusting your instincts. Are there any specific forest scents that you find memorable? The earthy aroma of damp soil and the sweet fragrance of blooming flowers create a distinct forest perfume. Are there any specific forest scents that you find memorable? The earthy aroma of damp soil and the sweet fragrance of blooming flowers create a distinct forest perfume. Have you ever taken a guided tour through a forest? I haven't, but I'd be interested in learning more about the flora, fauna, and history of a forest through a guided tour. Have you ever taken a guided tour through a forest? I haven't, but I'd be interested in learning more about the flora, fauna, and history of a forest through a guided tour. What's your favorite tree species commonly found in forests? I appreciate the grandeur of oak trees. Their sturdy presence adds character to any forest landscape. What's your favorite tree species commonly found in forests? I appreciate the grandeur of oak trees. Their sturdy presence adds character to any forest landscape. How do you prepare for a day-long forest expedition? Packing a hearty lunch, dressing in layers, and ensuring my equipment is in good condition are part of my preparation routine. How do you prepare for a day-long forest expedition? Packing a hearty lunch, dressing in layers, and ensuring my equipment is in good condition are part of my preparation routine. Have you ever witnessed a sunrise or sunset in the forest? Experiencing a sunrise in the forest, with the first light filtering through the trees, is truly magical. 
Have you ever witnessed a sunrise or sunset in the forest? Experiencing a sunrise in the forest, with the first light filtering through the trees, is truly magical. Do you have a favorite trail in a specific forest? The Redwood Forest has a trail with towering trees that make me feel small in the best possible way. It's awe-inspiring. Do you have a favorite trail in a specific forest? The Redwood Forest has a trail with towering trees that make me feel small in the best possible way. It's awe-inspiring. How do you capture the beauty of the forest in photographs? I focus on capturing the play of light, shadows, and the intricate details of plants and wildlife. Patience is key. How do you capture the beauty of the forest in photographs? I focus on capturing the play of light, shadows, and the intricate details of plants and wildlife. Patience is key. Have you ever participated in a forest cleanup or conservation event? Joining a forest cleanup event is on my to-do list. It's essential to give back and preserve these natural spaces. Have you ever participated in a forest cleanup or conservation event? Joining a forest cleanup event is on my to-do list. It's essential to give back and preserve these natural spaces. Are there any forest-related books or documentaries you recommend? The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wollobin provides fascinating insights into the world of forests. It's a must read. Are there any forest related books or documentaries you recommend? The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wollobin provides fascinating insights into the world of forests. It's a must read. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of bioluminescence in a forest? I haven't, but the idea of witnessing bioluminescent organisms in a forest at night sounds like a surreal experience. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of bioluminescence in a forest? I haven't. But the idea of witnessing bioluminescent organisms in a forest at night sounds like a surreal experience. How do you deal with the presence of insects while in the forest? Wearing insect repellent and long sleeves helps. But I try to appreciate insects as part of the ecosystem. How do you deal with the presence of insects while in the forest? Wearing insect repellent and long sleeves helps, but I try to appreciate insects as part of the ecosystem. Have you ever tried identifying different tree species in a forest? Yes. I enjoy using field guides to identify trees based on their leaves bark, and overall appearance. Have you ever tried identifying different tree species in a forest? Yes. I enjoy using field guides to identify trees based on their leaves, bark, and overall appearance. Do you have a preferred weather condition for exploring the forest? A cool, slightly overcast day is ideal for forest exploration. It adds a mystical ambiance to the surroundings. Do you have a preferred weather condition for exploring the forest? A cool, slightly overcast day is ideal for forest exploration.
It adds a mystical ambiance to the surroundings. Have you ever set up a hammock in the forest for relaxation? Yes. Hanging a hammock between two sturdy trees and enjoying the tranquility is a perfect way to unwind in the forest. Have you ever set up a hammock in the forest for relaxation? Yes. Hanging a hammock between two sturdy trees and enjoying the tranquility is a perfect way to unwind in the forest. What's your perspective on the role of forests in climate change? Forests play a crucial role in sequestering carbon dioxide and maintaining ecological balance. Protecting them is vital for combating climate change. What's your perspective on the role of forests in climate change? Forests play a crucial role in sequestering carbon dioxide and maintaining ecological balance. Protecting them is vital for combating climate change. Are there any specific forest traditions or rituals you've come across? I've heard of forest bathing, a Japanese practice called Shinrin Yoku, which involves immersing oneself in the forest for therapeutic benefits. Are there any specific forest traditions or rituals you've come across? I've heard of forest bathing. A Japanese practice called Shinrin Yoku, which involves immersing oneself in the forest for therapeutic benefits. How do you balance the desire for exploration with the need to preserve the forest? Respecting designated trails, minimizing human impact and practicing leave no trace principles are essential for preserving the beauty of the forest. How do you balance the desire for exploration with the need to preserve the forest? Respecting designated trails, minimizing human impact, and practicing leave no trace principles are essential for preserving the beauty of the forest. Have you ever encountered wildlife that surprised you in the forest? Coming across a family of deer unexpectedly was a delightful surprise during one of my forest hikes. Have you ever encountered wildlife that surprised you in the forest? Coming across a family of deer unexpectedly was a delightful surprise during one of my forest hikes. Do you have a favorite spot within a forest where you like to sit and reflect? Finding a moss-covered rock by a babbling brook is my go-to spot for quiet reflection in the heart of a forest. Do you have a favorite spot within a forest where you like to sit and reflect? Finding a moss-covered rock by a babbling brook is my go-to spot for quiet reflection in the heart of a forest. How do you overcome any fears or anxieties associated with being in the forest? Familiarizing myself with the surroundings, understanding the ecosystem, and being well-prepared help alleviate any fears. How do you overcome any fears or anxieties associated with being in the forest? Familiarizing myself with the surroundings, understanding the ecosystem, and being well prepared help alleviate any fears. Have you ever participated in a forest-themed art or photography exhibition? Not yet. But capturing the essence of the forest and showcasing it through art is something I'd love to explore. Have you ever participated in a forest-themed art or photography exhibition? 
not yet, but capturing the essence of the forest and showcasing it through art is something I'd love to explore. What's the most challenging terrain you've encountered in a forest? Navigating through dense underbrush and steep inclines in a tropical rainforest presented a unique set of challenges. What's the most challenging terrain you've encountered in a forest? Navigating through dense underbrush and steep inclines in a tropical rainforest presented a unique set of challenges. How do you ensure your safety while exploring a forest? Informing someone about my plans, carrying a fully charged phone, and having a basic first aid kit are essential safety measures. How do you ensure your safety while exploring a forest? Informing someone about my plans, carrying a fully charged phone, and having a basic first aid kit are essential safety measures. Have you ever attended a forest music festival or outdoor concert? I haven't, but the idea of enjoying live music surrounded by nature in a forest setting sounds amazing. Have you ever attended a forest music festival or outdoor concert? I haven't, but the idea of enjoying live music surrounded by nature in a forest setting sounds amazing. Do you have a favorite forest sound that you find particularly soothing? The distant sound of a flowing river or stream is incredibly soothing and adds to the peaceful ambiance of the forest. Do you have a favorite forest sound that you find particularly soothing? The distant sound of a flowing river or stream is incredibly soothing and adds to the peaceful ambiance of the forest. How do you approach wildlife encounters in the forest? Observing from a respectful distance and avoiding any actions that may disturb or endanger the wildlife is crucial. How do you approach wildlife encounters in the forest? Observing from a respectful distance and avoiding any actions that may disturb or endanger the wildlife is crucial. Have you ever participated in a forest foraging experience? Yes. I joined a guided foraging expedition to learn about edible plants and mushrooms found in the forest. Have you ever participated in a forest foraging experience? Yes. I joined a guided foraging expedition to learn about edible plants and mushrooms found in the forest. What's the most challenging weather condition you've faced in a forest? Hiking in heavy rain can be challenging, but it adds a unique and refreshing dimension to the forest experience. What's the most challenging weather condition you've faced in a forest? Hiking in heavy rain can be challenging but it adds a unique and refreshing dimension to the forest experience. How do you navigate through a dense forest without a compass? Paying attention to natural markers like the sun's position and the growth patterns of moss on trees can help navigate without a compass. How do you navigate through a dense forest without a compass? Paying attention to natural markers like the sun's position and the growth patterns of moss on trees can help navigate without a compass. Have you ever explored a forest with a group of friends? Yes. Exploring a forest with friends adds a sense of camaraderie and shared discovery, 
making it even more enjoyable. Have you ever explored a forest with a group of friends? Yes. Exploring a forest with friends adds a sense of camaraderie and shared discovery, making it even more enjoyable. Are there any specific forest traditions or rituals in your culture that you follow? While not specific to my culture, I appreciate the practice of leaving small offerings to thank the forest for its beauty and resources. Are there any specific forest traditions or rituals in your culture that you follow? While not specific to my culture, I appreciate the practice of leaving small offerings to thank the forest for its beauty and resources. How do you document your forest explorations? I keep a journal where I note down interesting findings, sketch the surroundings, and attach photographs as memories of each forest exploration. How do you document your forest explorations? I keep a journal where I note down interesting findings, sketch the surroundings, and attach photographs as memories of each forest exploration. Have you ever encountered any historical ruins or artifacts in a forest? Stumbling upon the remnants of an old cabin hidden in the forest was a fascinating discovery during one of my hikes. Have you ever encountered any historical ruins or artifacts in a forest? Stumbling upon the remnants of an old cabin hidden in the forest was a fascinating discovery during one of my hikes. Do you have a preferred time of day for birdwatching in the forest? Early morning is the best time for birdwatching when the forest is alive with the sounds of various bird species. Do you have a preferred time of day for birdwatching in the forest? Early morning is the best time for birdwatching when the forest is alive with the sounds of various bird species. Have you ever encountered a rare or endangered species in the forest? While I haven't encountered any endangered species, I've been fortunate to spot a few rare and elusive birds during my forest explorations. Have you ever encountered a rare or endangered species in the forest? While I haven't encountered any endangered species, I've been fortunate to spot a few rare and elusive birds during my forest explorations. How do you navigate through a forest if you lose your way? Staying calm, retracing my steps, and using natural landmarks are my go-to strategies for finding my way back if I get lost. How do you navigate through a forest if you lose your way? Staying calm, retracing my steps, and using natural landmarks are my go-to strategies for finding my way back if I get lost. Have you ever participated in a forest-themed art or photography workshop? Joining a photography workshop focused on capturing the beauty of the forest is something I'd love to experience. Have you ever participated in a forest-themed art or photography workshop? Joining a photography workshop focused on capturing the beauty of the forest is something I'd love to experience. What role do forests play in your personal well-being? Forests are my sanctuary for relaxation and rejuvenation. Being surrounded by nature has a positive impact on my mental and emotional well-being. 
What role do forests play in your personal well-being? Forests are my sanctuary for relaxation and rejuvenation. Being surrounded by nature has a positive impact on my mental and emotional well-being. Have you ever tried to capture the sounds of the forest in recordings? Yes. Recording the sounds of rustling leaves, birdsong, and flowing water in the forest creates an immersive experience even when I'm not there. Have you ever tried to capture the sounds of the forest in recordings? Yes. Recording the sounds of rustling leaves, birdsong, and flowing water in the forest creates an immersive experience even when I'm not there. How do you ensure you leave minimal impact on the environment during forest explorations? Staying on designated trails, packing out all waste, and avoiding unnecessary disturbances to the flora and fauna are essential practices. How do you ensure you leave minimal impact on the environment during forest explorations? Staying on designated trails, packing out all waste, and avoiding unnecessary disturbances to the flora and fauna are essential practices. Have you ever joined a guided meditation or yoga session in the forest? Participating in a guided meditation surrounded by the serenity of the forest is a unique and tranquil experience. Have you ever joined a guided meditation or yoga session in the forest? Participating in a guided meditation surrounded by the serenity of the forest is a unique and tranquil experience. How do you cope with unexpected weather changes while in the forest? Packing a waterproof jacket and extra layers, and being flexible with plans helps me adapt to sudden weather changes during forest explorations. How do you cope with unexpected weather changes while in the forest? Packing a waterproof jacket and extra layers, and being flexible with plans helps me adapt to sudden weather changes during forest explorations. Have you ever witnessed a phenomenon like a forest fire or controlled burn? I haven't witnessed it personally, but understanding the role of controlled burns in forest management is crucial for maintaining ecological balance. Have you ever witnessed a phenomenon like a forest fire or controlled burn? I haven't witnessed it personally, but understanding the role of controlled burns in forest management is crucial for maintaining ecological balance. Do you have a favorite tree in a specific forest that you consider iconic? The giant sequoias in Sequoia National Park are awe-inspiring. Each tree tells a story of resilience and endurance. Do you have a favorite tree in a specific forest that you consider iconic? The giant sequoias in Sequoia National Park are awe-inspiring. Each tree tells a story of resilience and endurance. How do you deal with the absence of phone signal in remote forest areas? Informing someone about my plans before entering such areas and relying on offline maps and compass navigation help mitigate the lack of phone signal. How do you deal with the absence of phone signal in remote forest areas? Informing someone about my plans before entering such areas and relying on offline maps and compass navigation help mitigate the lack of phone signal. Have you ever encountered a forest with bioluminescent organisms at night? 
No, but the idea of witnessing the magical glow of bioluminescence in a forest at night is on my bucket list. Have you ever encountered a forest with bioluminescent organisms at night? No, but the idea of witnessing the magical glow of bioluminescence in a forest at night is on my bucket list. How do you incorporate your love for the forest into your daily life? Surrounding myself with indoor plants, nature-themed decor, and taking short walks in nearby green spaces. Help maintain a connection to the forest in my daily life. How do you incorporate your love for the forest into your daily life? Surrounding myself with indoor plants, nature-themed decor, and taking short walks in nearby green spaces. Help maintain a connection to the forest in my daily life. Have you ever participated in a forest-themed poetry or writing workshop? Engaging in a writing workshop focused on capturing the essence of the forest through poetry is something I'd find inspiring. Have you ever participated in a forest-themed poetry or writing workshop? Engaging in a writing workshop focused on capturing the essence of the forest through poetry is something I'd find inspiring. 